So now the weather has finally started to pick up and it feels like summer, I've been doing a few tweaks to the van and I'll get to share a few of those soon with you. But one thing I had to sort out was attach a awning rail for our side awning, which we tested over the weekend. We went to South Yorkshire, we stayed with family and had a barbecue and it was great and it worked, but it was the most irritating thing to install. So I still wanna share it with you just so you can get an idea of what it's gonna be like. But it was very scary drilling holes in the top of my van and attaching it. So before we tried suction cups and they just kept falling off. We tied ropes to the van and that kept coming loose. We'd also tried some camper van adhesive and the tracks just fell off. But I'm gonna show you this anyway. So keep on watching. So the first thing I did was place the awning tracks on top just to get an idea of where they lied and where I wanted them to start and finish. And the one we bought, you actually get three tracks in a pack, but we just needed two. And the awning kit actually comes with some small screws, some rubber seals and a two mil drill bit. So I thought, great, let's get started and put my first holes in. And I tried it and the screws wouldn't go in. So I thought, I need a bigger drill bit here. So I ended up going out and buying a smaller drill bit and a slightly bigger one. And this was probably the hottest of the year so far and the van was extremely hot to touch. This. You can't touch this. So getting back to drilling the holes, I found it was much easier to start with a one and a half and that would pierce a hole through so much easier and quicker and then move up to a two and a half mil drill bit. But if a two mil works for you, then great because it's better to try that first before you jump up to a bigger one. And then I'd place the rubber seals underneath the track and then pop the screw straight through with a screwdriver. Sometimes this was quite fiddly. And then I'd screw in the screw with my screwdriver, but I'd do it on the lowest setting. But because the van slightly tapered down at the back, I decided to leave that bit till last. I found that when tightening the first screw, the head sheared off. Oh, I'm so fed up with this. And I was absolutely devastated. But although I didn't show it, I did manage to fix the opposite hole with a slightly bigger screw. So it's not actually going anywhere, but it's just irritating. So that is a risk with this project. But I tried to get it out with pliers. I tried drilling it out and that still wouldn't work. So if you've got any tips, then please let me know in the comments below. Now for the last track that I've got to put in place here, I decided to thread through part of the awning, but just to make sure it was definitely in line and I wouldn't have any problems threading it later. And so I'd hold that in place while pre-drilling some small holes again. Now I forgot to say that the tracks also come with an adhesive back and I'd already taken the other one off and then I peeled off a bit of that backing off one section at a time and because it's tacky, I'm getting the rubber seals to stick around the hole so they don't move and fix into place with screws again. And continued that until I got to the final two at the front, which were the hardest, but I had another problem. One more screw sheared off. Is it going anywhere? It doesn't seem to be. So I am very happy apart from those two issues. And the beauty about having the track is that there's an attachment strip that we can attach to the track and the awning and remove it so it's freestanding and we can drive away to a different location and still be pitched up. 